you want to leave here in a while. Are you ready today? What he had to take, what he really had to take today to change your mind to get a hold of the Master? What is he really going to take today to say, Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me. Save me before it's too late. What is he really going to take today? Does Jesus have to take something you love the most to get your attention? Father, people said, the Lord is merciful and lovable. Yes, he is. But he also will get your attention to keep you from dying and going to hell. Hell is not made for you and me to go there. But you give God no, odd, no other opportunity if you don't want to serve him. You don't give him no choice. You won't give him no choice to tell you to depart from him that he never knew you. Amen. Come on now. Praise the good Lord. It's a serious stuff. Amen. It's a serious for your soul which you want to spend eternity in. It's serious. Think about it today, children. Find you some words to get down on your knees and pray and ask God to come in your life. How is it today with you and the Lord? Have you got everything fixed up this morning? Have you got everything fixed up with Jesus this morning? Or do you have to say, Lord, give me a few minutes. Give me a few minutes. You might not have that few minutes. Think about it today, children. Are you ready to meet God? Amen. Are you ready to meet the Lord? The Bible says here in John chapter 3 verse 15 that whosoever in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world, condemned the world, but through but condemn the world, but through him, but that the world, the world through him, him might, be saved. might be saved. And what does that mean today, children? Might be saved. Might. The Bible said there are few chosen, a few enter in. Mm -hmm. Nobody knows how many is in that pew. But he always say in the word of God. We must come humble as a little child. Mm -hmm. Amen. We must come humble as a little child. The devil's out. It got change around people today. I pull them around just like dummies upon a chain. Amen. Come on now. The devil's got people like a, a puppet on a rope or chain. Amen. He's got them bound down. He's got them chained down where they can't do nothing. But he's going to take God to break the chains. Amen. And get the rope off of them. Amen. All he has to do to make the first step for him. And he'll make two for you. Amen. We need to get a hold of the master and say, Lord, I'm a tired of living in this sin. I'm a tired of living this way. I want a better life for me. I want a better life for my children. If you want to see your home a better, a call upon the master, amen. If you want to see your children prosper, get a hold of the master. If you want to prosper yourself, get a hold of the master today. Amen. You can have your home, a brand new home again. Amen. Come on now, tell the devil to pack your bags and leave. Amen. Come on now, praise the good Lord today. Children, I'm going to tell the devil today to pack his bags and leave. Amen. He ain't got no authority around my heart. Amen. 
Oh, you don't want to die and have to burn in that hell. Hell was real, children. This is nothing to play with. Amen, this is real today. Think about it where your souls are going. Like I said, there many people had good intentions, but they let the devil cheat them out of it. The rich man right now is burning in hell, begging for that drop of water. The, rich, the Bible says the rich man died, and also Lazarus died. The rich man seen Lazarus a fur off in Abraham's bosom. Amen. He told him, he said, will you go and warn my behind brother not to come to this awful place because I'm in torment. Children, he felt the power. Amen. He felt the power. Amen. Uh, when he left this world today, children, uh, he felt the power. Amen. Uh, he told them, will you go tell my five brothers not to come to this awful place? I'm in torment. Uh, amen. Uh, he said, uh, come on now, Abraham said, uh, why would I go tell the five brothers to come, uh, but not to come to this place? He got the prophets down there. Uh, just tell them, amen. Uh, come on now. Uh, he said, will you see a ladder down there? Uh, Tell them they want him. Amen. But well, come on now, thank God today. He asked them, Will you dip your finger in some water to cool my scorching time? He called out that torment. Today, the day of salvation, it's time to get a hold of the Lord. But you don't want to have to die and go to that place called hell. Rich man's a bagging for that drop of water. Oh, he's in hell today, children. He said, would you go warn my five brothers not to come to this awful place? He said, they got the prophets to warn them. And Abraham said, amen. Come on now. Brothers was in Abraham's bosom. Carried him. Amen. In Abraham's bosom. Rich man burning in hell, slathers in heaven with Jesus. The rich man thought he had everything all right. He didn't need for nothing. Had all the money, all the food, but one thing he didn't have, he didn't have that man called Jesus in his life. Amen. He didn't have that man called Jesus in his life. Knowing he's the only one can help him to keep him out of hell. But he didn't want it. You know that's what's wrong with a lot of people today. They don't want nothing to do with Jesus. You talk to them about the Lord. You watch them run. And you watch them shake their head. Or you watch them tell you that they want nothing to do with it. Amen. They don't want nothing to do with the Lord. But I'm telling you today after the judgment time. Oh, you wish the power of the time thousand that you would listen to that little preacher. Amen. Or listen to somebody that tell them about the Lord. Amen. You'll hear a thing many times. Amen. About that little preacher telling you about the Lord and how to keep you out of hell. But come on now. You're going to remember every word that I said. Amen. Come on now. Praise the good Lord tonight. Amen. Jesus is coming back. Are you ready to go? But you're going to remember everything that he said. It's hot. And you'll burn for eternity. Amen. Oh, that rich man. If he could turn the tables back today, he would have done something different. He would have done something different. He would have given all his money away and give the best food that money can buy for Lazarus laying at the gate. 
He will give ladder to bed to lay on. He will give the best food that he can eat. He will take care of ladders. But see, he can't do it. Rich man can't go where the ladder is. And ladders cannot go where the rich man's at because they're dealt between them. Think about it today, children. This is serious today where your soul is going to spend eternity at. It's serious. There's nothing to play with. You know, a lot of people is playing with their soul today. Seem like they're not worried about where they're going to spend eternity at. All they're worried about running up down the road, running here, running there, and not worrying about where their souls are going. They ain't worrying about it. If he was, they'll be making a step for the Lord. I'm going to tell you just like it is. I've got a back mile for the Lord, and I'm going to tell you just like it is. But care if you're worried about everything else, but you ain't worried about where your souls are going. Amen. Well, if you want to go down the road, amen, and never wake up again, but hear the car head on. But where are you at with the Lord today? You better make sure that you're covered under the blood. You better make sure that you got everything fixed up with the Lord. That you're nobody. Amen. But come on now. Nobody's going to get out of death. Everybody's going to die. And after the death of the judgment, are you not going to escape? You're not escape death. Think about it. You better be worried about where your soul is going. This is nothing to play with, children. Hell was real. If the devil's got chains around you, you better get it out. You better get it out. You better let the Lord help you get them chains off of you mm -hmm. and serve him. You better get the Lord on your life and on your and on your mind. You better get the Lord on your side today. Don't worry about tomorrow, because tomorrow might never come. You better be worried about what, what's happening right now. You can walk around in your yard thinking everything's all right. It's all dead right then and there. Where is it with you and the Lord today? Think about it today, children. If they ever were the time to get a hold of the Lord, it's right now. Don't wait till something happens to you. Don't wait till tragedy hits your home. I've seen it. Hey Amen. I've seen things happen in people's homes. It seems like they still don't want to turn to God. Think about it today, people. Hey Amen. God give you a bad moment. I'm going to speak what the, what the Lord wants me to say. I've seen things in people's homes. And they still don't want to turn over to the Lord. It's sad how much more that you had to go through to reach out to Jesus. Do you have to wait till you only did for it? Do you have to wait till something else happened in your home to call upon the Lord? Just like Job. Job was a righteous man. Amen. Job was a righteous man. He prayed every day. The Lord took his shield off of Job to see if Job would stand for him. Amen. He took the, he took the shield off of Job to see if he would stand for him. And he did. Amen. The devil took everything that Job had even put sickness upon his body. Even the devil went through his wife and say, why don't you curse to God and die? But see, Job, hold on. He knows what's going to happen at the end. Why can't we do that? Why can't we hang on to Jesus? 
Why can't we love him just like he loved us when he went to that cross and died for you and me? Why can't we hold on just like Job did? Amen. Everybody gets a word about this, a word about that. But they're fixing to quit. They're fixing to throw the towel in. I cannot handle this no more. I cannot do this. I can't do that. It's too hard to serve God. But Job, amen. Well, come on now. He stood his ground. Amen. He went with his wife. They told him to curse of God and die. He turned over, amen, and started praying to the Lord. Amen. And God give you more than he has. Amen. Before everything went on. Amen. God give you more back than what he had. He hung on to the Lord. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, when things get rubbed in their homes and their sickness and everything else, they want to give up. Amen. They want to give up. It's too hard to serve God. Why am I punished this way? Or why am I sick this way? Amen. So come on now. Praise the good Lord. We need to hang on to the Lord. It's going to be worth it out a while. It's going to be a payday. Amen. And I ain't talking about a payday down here. I'm talking about a payday up there. Yes. That wonderful place called heaven. Glory. Thank God for his mercy. Thank God for his grace. I got a home waiting for me. And you got a home waiting for you. All you have to do is reach out and get it. We're going to make an altar call song here. If you feel like praying on Facebook, pray. If you feel like praying around.